This is the Libra 15 from Purism. It prioritizes user privacy and security features foremost, but without compromising connectivity or productivity. To demonstrate, we're going to be focusing on sharing audio between complex music making programs using the Jack Audio Connection Kit. Jack is all about control of the audio signal. A traditional signal usually starts off with input from a mic or instrument like guitar or keyboard, or if you're like me, a QWERTY keyboard. As I was saying, a traditional audio signal usually starts off with input from a mic or instrument into an interface or mixer, which applies onboard DSP processing before it routes the signal to your laptop or desktop, preferably a Librem device. This is where Jack shares information between connected programs and can even sync them to a designated transport of an app. GUIs for Jack, such as QJack control and patches, give a snapshot of your connections. The signal then travels back through your interface out of your monitors or headphones. The power and flexibility of the Jack Audio Connection Kit allows you to route audio between programs that would otherwise not communicate with each other. Now to avoid a tedious export and import process, I'm on a Connect Bitwig Studio to Mixbus and route the audio out of Bitwig into Mixbus using Jack Control. First, we're going to check to make sure that Jack is the selected audio device in the two programs that we want to sync. As you can see in the connections view of QJack Control, Bitwig and Mixbus is connected to Jack through the system audio as the default audio device in the app settings, which is set to the ALSA driver. Next, we're going to go to Mixbus or Door and right click the internal button, which opens the transport settings and change the transport master to Jack. It's a good idea to check off the start and stop checkbox in the active commands drop down menu also. Switching over to the mixer to open the routing grid in Mixbus to assign the stereo output from Bitwig to an audio track. Now we're going to tap on the internal button to switch over to Jack Sync and test out our connection. First, I need to solo out each one of these sounds from within Bitwig one at a time. 
to get them separated on individual tracks. Okay, now that we have it synced up, I'm gonna try to record it within Mixbus. Sounds nice. So now I'm going to switch the input from Bitwig from the first audio track to the second audio track and bounce over the percussion sounds from Bitwig onto a separate track. There you have it. Audio development using Jack in Pure OS on the Libra 15 by Purism.